Okay, this is a new playtest of uh, Nitro Kid. We're just running this playtest at the moment, so I thought I'd give it a go. Um, I just check the. Yeah, they're not calling it like a beta or an alpha or anything like that, but it, it's a playtest. The game is releasing in about uh, yeah, two and a half weeks time from now, I think. And they're just giving us a chance to try out two new characters here that we haven't seen previously. So we'll try, we'll try this one first. And then I'll try that one. And I'm not sure whether there'll be two separate videos, whether I'll just do them in the same video. And this is the first screen that I see when I run it. So I haven't been able to do any settings or anything yet. We'll get to that in a moment. As soon as we get into the uh, actual game so I can access the settings. So how do we do that? Uh, yeah. Um, oh, okay. What's well, perhaps they're connected in, in a like a story, and and maybe we use both in, in the same story or something, like switch between them. Um, no. Wait for to now, I think. Um, oh, I can only. So it looks like maybe some players will be able to use him and, and some will have to use her. I'm not too sure. I thought that I'd be able to try both, but maybe it won't let me. L33. Um. I, uh, yeah, <laughs> confusing as heck, um, yeah, see, so there's only full screen, so, yeah, I have to make this at, uh, 1440p, now, we can adjust this a bit, um, Yeah, I think the sound effect will probably be the loudest. Maybe it's not too bad, I guess. And, um, DUI. Uh, um, frame limit. I don't think we need to do that. These things should be enough. Probably like if you wanted to use one or the other. Uh, what else? Okay, so this option, so I guess we'll just start and um, I don't think I need to do the tutorial because we we have this is my second look, uh, considering that we looked at this game probably about. Was it a couple of months ago or something? A month ago or a couple of months? Um, so this guy's out on a mission. That one's unavailable. 
the next the agent network follow them. I'm guessing that's just like a story. You go onto the Discord and you can read about like a, a story of how they're playing out. Full connection. Well, that's obviously when the full game releases. So you get to play them both then. Um, so I can use that one. I can't use that one. But we might see them in the uh, story perhaps. I don't know. Get it laid out. Um, wow, this is uh, interesting. I, I, I don't think we should be able to do anything here. It's probably just saying, well, look. They're going to bring all this kind of stuff, and you can see so you can customize how the characters play. And yeah, there's 30 plus infusions, 50 plus events, and 250 cards with these things here. Three agents and three campaigns. <coughs> Um, 27 music track yeah so quite interesting uh, 50 plus patches yeah, I can't quite remember what the patches do but I think we'll probably uh, come across that in the game. So it looks like that's my loadout. Unfortunately, we can't read about what the symbols do. What is that one? That's like, it looks like uh, a hand. You seem to see it there. And then, no, we don't, yeah. I don't, yeah, okay, can only be regained by playing cards, reload, or okay. Well, that's, this is something new, so I don't think we had firearms, no, we didn't, we didn't have firearms before, so this is something different. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, this is definitely going to be different. We arranged instead of melee. So what have we got? Choose two cards. Well, shift plus card. Oh, here we go. Yeah. So it's like a free move in any direction. Ah, so that's that's like a movement after you've done all your combat. Because usually you would have to move before you did combat. Well, and with the previous uh, time I looked at this game. So let's play this card of movement to the rest of the fight. So I think that's kind of 
like a free refresh of a car. So if you've got a crappy hand, you can use that and get a different card come out. I think that's probably the only real benefit. I mean, you can change your stance, but I'm not too sure how that works in the way of combat yet. Uh, agile is added to all attack damage to see. Yeah, it's very, very kind of awkward how they word things. So when it says added to all attack damage, that would make you think that you're attacked. But then it's saying receive, which is kind of like, you know, you're receiving. You, you wouldn't really say the enemy receive, uh, you know, I mean, you could, but it just... Yeah, it's a bit wishy-washy. So... Mag buff. Every picked out by ammo. Mag buff picks applied on every picked out by ammo. In taxi. So it's kind of like it's... It must be something that I inflict on the enemy, but the way that it's worded... Receive, you know, received is what you receive yourself. That's what gets it. That's what's kind of tripping me up there. They should have just said something like, you know, fragile is an enhancement to all your attack damage or to all to all attack damage given out. Something like that, you know? Something that kind of aligns it to the fact that you're dealing, so there, even dealing, dealing damage. Do all damage you deal or something. I mean, you know. Deal six damage by two week chain. Adjacent to one another, okay, that's quite cool. Although it just says effects, it doesn't actually say damage, but who knows, maybe all damage as well. Consumes all remaining ammo and modifies and effects one to the consume. Uh, interesting, but let's see the effects reply to adjacent targets as well. What a what effects. I mean, it must be damage, surely. You already am a modified an effect. Yeah, the wording is so confusing, you know. Multiplies an effect, an effect of what? You, you know, I mean, what is the effect? I've got to put an effect on them first, but then weakness. <sighs> yeah. I don't really like that because it uses up all your energy. Magpa. All mag buffs are lost when you reload. Does that mean if I reload all the debuff of, on the enemy will, will disappear? I don't know, that's, that's confusing to tell that one. I'm going to go with the movement at the end of the end. Sometimes it's good to get yourself out of trouble, especially if you're a ranged um, attacker and you've got melee uh, enemies right next to you. Mm -hmm. 
to get surrounded with that. I think, yeah, I think they like to surround me in this game. So. Enemy room, well, we might not be able to move them if we're surrounded. Well, I guess we're going there, there's nowhere else to go. Maybe I should have done tutorials. Enemy with melee attack can hit you if you are okay. Take on the sword, icon, where did you have a melee attack? Okay. So they've kind of made a little um, addition here and there, like the sword and how they were explaining the. Um, oh, yeah, like how you can tell if, if your attack is going to be single target or, or more or, uh, you know, multi target or uh, what was the other thing? There was something else that they mentioned, um, which was another thing that wasn't clear in the first game. I mean, in the first uh, playtest. So. Yeah, this auto turn, this is something. It says here if you move into their attack range. But in the first playtest, the enemies could. Like their attack range was the entire um, length or width of the board. So all you had to do was move in the same line. Of, that they're on, and, and they would tend to you. I guess that would still be the case, unless they have limited range. Um, yeah, so I don't know if they will, if, if that will have improved or not. We'll find out. So the unique advanced mechanic which speaks to switch to do my handgun and rifle. Handgun. Your attacks will double damage, but you can't play attack and move car if you don't cost Ammo. It's your unique entry card is added to your hand. Yeah, so that's kind of like adding an extra level of uh, complexity to it, which could be a downfall. I think my only option here is to try and use this crate as a some kind of a blockade. Uh, this side probably be the best. Because then the only one that can attack me is someone here. Unless they destroy the box or if I destroy the box. But hopefully my character won't shoot at the box just because it's right next to her. Let's find out. Right, so at the moment we're not doing a hell of a lot. Uh, um, yeah. So we've got energy, turn one, beat enemy, three enemy, but grade of one random card. Right. One tactical reload, well, that's that one there. So it doesn't cost to reload. Six ammo at the moment. Okay, so we're in handgun mode. Um, full trait. Ah, yeah, that's the movement, isn't it? But it's very expensive at the moment, it's five. But as I do things, the price will come down. Which is why you, um, well, we get a free move at the start of battle as well. So I could probably come out of cover, 
choose, do all my stuff and then go back in the cover. I don't know if I'll be able to though. Wait, we never another card to play. Okay, so that will bring it down to four. And then I would need to use either reload or if I can or oh look we got back. What's that one? Let's put handgun. Well, she already got the gun in her hand. I, I, yeah, I'm not, I'm not. Is that like you switch to rifle or and some of these won't actually work in with you if you've got a rifle but how do I would know that? Well let's try So we could try chain, see how that works. I oh, cost two though. We still a bit, although I can reload. But yeah, that won't be very good either. I need to use, how many cards do I need to use? I need to use three cards, don't I? Damage six. How much health have they got? Okay, that's eight. Yeah, I can't get back there though. Because this is just too expensive. Unless I use... Oh, that's going to destroy the box. I don't really want to do that. See it's three, so I need to see the reload. I use that; it's gone for the rest of the fight, so I won't be able to reload again. It's no good. I only want to reload it in my ammo right now, so I can do that. Or it's kind of sucks. I don't want to use that straight away, but. I can block though, but yeah, I won't be able to block and do that. Oh, that's annoying, isn't it? How do I get? I can't get back in there, can I? I can use that, but what gain one energy? Okay, so I could do. Yeah, I'm going to destroy the crate though. No, it hasn't quite. I haven't quite done that as as I want to. I guess we can only get hit twice, so it probably will work out anyway. I'll end soon. Oh, 
Oh, they not attack me. Why didn't they attack me? Surely they could have moved and attacked. What's that? Push on both, it'll make them go away though. It will drop one, the other one it won't. How do I know? I mean, they're going to be able to shoot more than one square way, surely. Put handgun. Yeah, it's kind of weird, eh? Why didn't you say that? Can you drop your handgun or something? Safety's off. Game two energy. Put rifle. Oh, okay. So it's, yeah, I get it. Swap between one and the other. Well, this is kind of interesting, isn't it? Yeah, this is... I wonder if maybe the rifle can shoot longer distance. So I guess I will use that. And then... Gain two energy and... I need a step over there though. So, let's get me. Yeah, that's no good. Uh, I can't really. Reload this one here. Get that game one into okay. So I can't really test my theory about. Oh, I could have done it like that. Okay. Opening shot. That must come into play when you flip over the rifle. That's quite cool. A lot of damage. Plus it does push. Yeah, that's quite cool. But I'm not on the same line. I need move there. And this needs to come down. Whenever another card is played, we've been playing cards, but it doesn't seem to. What? Oh, the cost goes up, not down. Oh. Well, I can't move, so... I've got one shield. So I guess I'll put another shield on. There's nothing else I can... Um... There's nothing else I can do. Yeah, see, look. According to that, yeah, I can shoot more than one square, so at least we know that. Right. I don't know whether you can move and attack. Doesn't look like you can. So I guess we'll just shoot him.
Oh, he's gonna need more than one, is he? Third ranges, right? Yes, range can get yeah, in the line. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking. So it doesn't matter how far away you are from an enemy, if you move in the same line, maybe even if you cross the line, um, the enemy will turn. Which means you can't sneak up on them. If that is the case. Which is a bit of a shame because in the last playtest I was using a melee character and and I was hoping that I could sneak up behind enemies but no. You might also encounter the tech card for global rain. Alright. On the right edge, general range. That we are in this group. Choose one card. Right. Next size up. One in the chamber. Bullet nose. One damage three times. Chamber three. Chamber three. Fill with your ammo. Okay. All right. This fight cool. You know, it's no damage. Deal one damage. Like in the day, change the invading captain. Um, that's good as well. Just common, that one's too rare. I mean, that there will save you from doing a reload. And you won't lose any uh, mag bucks. So. Uh, what do I want? Transform a card in my deck. Choose a card to be added to my deck. Remove a card from my deck. So this one here looks to be the best, doesn't it? Transform. I'm not sure if that means upgrade or if it just means replace. Try this one. You get a free card. Lock and load. Mag size down. Um, your two cards. Hmm. Well, that one there. Lock and load. That's interesting. Because I remember. Well, when I saw the opening shot, it said damage of 10, not damage of 5.
Yeah. Doesn't increase ammo. Well, I mean, it could be good having another, like having another sound like that. But then this could be quite cool as well, and it's free to use. Increases your mag size. Alright, let's have a look. What do we got? 142. Yeah, so we got some rare cards. Another one of those. Pick off that kill. Two down, six feet backwards. These targets weigh one pound, five one day. I mean, that's quite cool. See the code. Plus five damage. But each hit costs two dollars. Heal plus five damage. That sounds pretty cool. I think this is the pain card going to shield. Hmm. Maybe you retain a card. Sale forty dollars. Yeah. Down in the backward. That's quite cool. I think I might take these two. And that's good as well. You reload. Yeah. <sighs> Eleven bucks left. Right. Okay, so what am I doing here then? Three both kids we can face the boss. Well, if I want to save both kids, I gotta do both of those. But how do you do that when you're only on the one line? Unless we start at the top, if we can kind of like go like that and then across, try that. I'm gonna need the frame fix to hit it. But only if you are in line with them. Yeah, I know that. That's why you can't sneak up on them. But you can't sneak up on anyone.
Right. Now. Maybe we can use that barrel. We gotta get rid of this guy as quick as we can. What do we got? Not a lot of anything really. Unless I wanna check me out. <laughs> Uh, chain, okay. Shoot. Yeah, so we should be able to do quite a bit of damage here. Yeah, he's on zero times three. Does that mean he won't be able to do damage to me? You would think that's what it means. See? Like zero times three is zero. Either that or I could step behind the brake there, but... We're going to hope that mathematics uh, <laughs> saves the day, I think. Let's see what happens, eh? So I should not take damage from him. Zero times three. Okay, that worked. And he still can't damage me yet. Next turn he will be able to, but hopefully we'll have him dead before then. I can't leap backwards, because... Um, the door behind me. Chamber of three. That should put my ammo back up to full. And you'd think pushing him, yeah, that should be damage to him. It looks like a wall. But he can't go anywhere. Now if we had something that could chain, I don't think we do. Now the question is, can this guy move in a pack at the same time? Doesn't look like it. So I can shoot him, or... He's got one attack at the moment. I think I'm going to have to use that one there, just to give me two shields. But he shouldn't... Yeah, I, I just don't know whether he's, this guy will um, move and attack or not. If he does. What? Why are they hitting a empty square there? That's weird. Okay, so he's going to attack the barrel, but he's not going to be able to destroy it in one hit. It doesn't look like he attacked me, so they can't move and attack at the same turn, apparently. 
so I will do Starting to go down in ammo, so I don't want to use that one yet. Check off. Well, got ten, but that would push him out of the way, wouldn't it? So. I think we might as well do that. Have I got another? I don't have another shoot. Uh, which is the one, that one there, that drops my ammo down a bit. I'm tempted to do that one. Yeah, it hasn't really given us I think we're going to say, um, I can put right into here, I can see that, that might actually be quite a good idea. Move the target, add shift card, shift is, um, I thought shift was moving, it's been great, yeah you think so. Let's try safeties off. And then, yeah I knew it would do that, I knew it would give me that. I can use one ammo. Oh that's weird, because the Is the ammo shared between the rifle and the handgun? I don't think it was, but... Yeah. Well, I could kind of... If I could just damage that slightly... you will do damage. How would I do that? I would need a move there. I don't have any move apart from that one. I have one shift down to your hand. Well that does shift me though, doesn't it? It'd be one shift three another one and then hopefully a step Wait, no, cost goes up. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. Well, we could do block, block. We could swap back to handgun and then block, block. Three damage, three burn. Nah, forget it. not going to happen. I'm going to use one of these just to find out does it retain my defense each turn. If it does I would put my like, both on just to end up but I, I just I don't know if it does or not be a bit of a waste it doesn't. Unless I move from there to there. Oh. No, I can't get that far. Can. Yeah, move one pile, yeah. And the shift would probably be one pile as well. Don't know if I can find that out. Doesn't look like it. And then I've got to do floor map options. What's it called that one? Shift, there you go. Yeah, move one file, yeah. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, let's see what happens with the shield. It seems to retain the shield. So, yeah, I'll... Wait a minute. No, it just went back down again. Okay, I'm at, one of these must give me shield. No. One of those must give me shield. How do I figure that out? We'll have to have a look at what happens at the um, beginning of the next battle. Yeah, I don't have too many powers that actually affect more than one character, it seems. I mean, the, the ones that say chain, but... See, we got bunt. Yeah, bunt's the only one. So I might have to try and get some more of those. And um, the only other option is chain. So we've got a chain. We've got a chain bar, which is quite good. we're gonna have to definitely do that so that should actually yeah look it's gonna really mess them up because that barrel block rocks on him too now he's got burn so he's basically done i don't need to do anything else here but i will i will finish him up so uh two damage three times Uh, that's, yeah, quite expensive in the ammo department, though. But it does add ammo, apparently. I don't think I can use it now, though, I'm not sure. No, I've got to have three bullets to begin with. So I really, I need, like, a reload, I think. We've got one that does a reload. Yeah, I think I'll do reload and then we've got deal 10 damage. If I reload, I've got a feeling we're gonna remove the buff, so they'll only do five damage, but that's alright. We need a reload, we're down to one bullet. Actually I could put the handgun as well, couldn't I? Or do you think it might take the rifle into the next battle? That would be quite good. I don't think it will be very good. Okay. Alright, so we've got shootout, which does... Um, yeah, it consumes all our ammo, though, which I don't like. Although it does do a reload afterwards. So that's probably not too bad. Max pain. Uh <laughs> wait to a new tile. You go on to handle on the Um, it just says whenever you leak, it's a mod. But leak, if we've got something called leak, we've got step. Where's leak? Here we go, leak backward, leak backward. Yeah, I quite like those cards. 
I mean, this one, definitely. That one, well, it does shoot at the same time. Yeah, that one's quite, quite cool, actually. Powder Monkey, the energy equal to it. Sends all your ammo, eh? you get energy. Not too sure how that would help, unless you had a reload, you have to have a reload, otherwise you'd be able to do it. So that's not too bad really, you could probably get quite a good combo going if you had enough cards in your hand. But I think this one here, Uh, what do we got? 43. Not too much we can do. Maybe change his stub. I don't really have um, much of a stance uh, changing stance. Mini game. That would be awesome, what is that? But I don't have that one. <laughs> Easy sight, and then you're going to make a change of one. You see, that could be quite good. I think I'm going to have to go there. We've only got 40 bucks, it's better than the cargo thing. Now, I think mods are like cards play them, but they last for the remainder of the battle. So they're not like these things which are always on. Yeah, I mean it would be nice if they did, but well, we still got full health, so has he got a shotgun, has he? Some enemies hit with their attack. Yeah, so if there's something in your way, like a wall or another enemy. Yeah, it's going to need auto attack rate. You hit you whenever you use an attack gallery in your hit area. Okay, uh, well he's going to attack there, isn't he? So, yeah, see, if I was to go behind him, he'll just turn around. If I go there, he'll just turn around. Where, wherever I go, this guy is going to move in that direction give a square I choose on this side of the room and on that side he'll move that way so you can if I'm already there he'll just tend to face me which could be a good thing he does one attack that guy does two attacks 32 21 this guy is the dangerous most dangerous person in the room um, Who gets first turn? Do they get first turn or do I get first turn? I mean, I'd hate to kind of like go there and then I get a shotgun in the bloody face on, on spawn. I mean, that would be annoying. Um, huh? kind of uh, choice to make. 
The benefit of going there is that if he's aiming up there and this guy goes across, he'll get shot, but I don't think it'll work out like that. If anything, it might stop him from being able to target me for a while. Because if he moves here and he moves here, this guy can't get a shot at Well, he can if he finally shoots over the top, that might be able to do that. If I move there, what's this guy doing? Is he not going to turn around when I, if I move there? You think he would? Let's, let's see if I can. Yeah, he he will turn around. Hopefully he'll move there and he'll shoot him. Do I want to go here though? I don't think I need to go there this turn. So I think we'll stay there, but I'm going to try and work on this guy. So. If I do something with a chain, we'll get both. Thought I had something here with a chain. No? Chain by three. Do one damage three times. Yeah, see, it hasn't given me any shield. Maybe it only reduced the shield down to one. I don't know how that. No, that's no good. Um, okay, let's try softening him up. I've got no nothing that does like a debuff. So I'll probably just have to do that and then I'll put the block on just because it's free this turn. Yes, yeah, so it's gone down to one. Okay, it's hard. Right, there we go. Shield is hard. But now we can... Okay, well that's cool. So we can kind of like stack it up and then it'll just come down to 15. Uh, right, we've got push. On one hand that will be good. But I want to just leap backwards. What am I doing? Fun. And then that's going to leap backwards. I don't want to do that. Gain one energy there. Okay, well, we're going to have to do something.
Or the other option would be to use that too. It's only on one enemy. He's got 13 now. Let me go and push. So, so 5 and 6 is um, 11. Not enough to finish him off though. But that's cool, you know. We can probably deal with that. Because we've got shielding. Oh, look. He's going to retaliate. Okay, so I'd have to go... Um, Yeah, I still don't quite think I got the sexy one. Because I don't want to be in this square at the end of my turn. I want to be in that square. Yeah. So I use that, and then I go block, I think. I think that's the only thing I can do there. But I don't want to end up in the shop. So I probably should have used that there. But then I would have taken a hit, but then I got a shield on. And then I would have been able to move, put a shield on, yeah. So I would have been able to do another six damage on. Ah, well. What's that? Look at that. See that spiral? What does that mean? Is that bad for me, is it? It's the only way I can do it as far as I can tell. Yeah, I don't know what uh, and now he's going to do three. So, yeah, I can shield up, but um, I could have kept him with that. Let me see, he's going to do three, he's going to do one, that's four. So I have to basically. Do that, then that, then that, and this will have to be on him. Okay, so what happened there? I think that worked alright. They're going to do four. Is he hitting me? Okay. So I've got two, I need another two. So yeah, I use that. And then two shield. And that should stop us from taking damage from them. What happened then? Did he hit him? He must have. Okay. So now, unfortunately, uh, I need to get there. Okay, so I can do a step. Get lucky. Um, or I could do a chain. I could do a chain and then a step. Um, chain and then a step. Let's see, if I move here, what's going to happen? Okay, he's just going to turn. 
second and across two. So I should probably do that's a push. Two damage, eight, six. Okay, yeah, that would work. So we'll do a step to there. And then I'll use that on these two. He's gonna hit me though. But can I put a shield on? Uh, and what happens if I leap backwards? I suppose I'll take damage, will I? Let's push one that one. Two, three, five. Apply two to the wood. Yeah, that would work. That would work. Yeah. Because then this guy. Yeah, he won't damage me because he's too weak. That guy should have been weakened. I don't know if he. I mean, I thought it would have done him as well, but... So I could finish him off, or I could just not bother with him. I think I will... Oh, I need energy. How much energy? One. I need one energy. Yeah, I'd have to use it. Uh, I think that would probably be the better idea though. So I will shoot him to get him out of the way because now I can do the kickoff. But to do the kickoff, I need an energy. So I'll use one of them. Now we can do the kickoff on that guy. And then we'll be safe for one turn anyway. And now we could either do a reload or we could draw two cards. I think I'll probably just do a reload. Do I have a buff? I don't think I have any buffs, but I mean, where would buff show up, you know? You'd have to have a buff. Kind of probably above here, I think. I'm going to reload, because we've got like a quiet spot, so... Oh look, now I can exfiltrate. Um, am I going to get boxed in here? See, I can move to there. I don't know if that would help. Yeah, we'll try staying there. I mean, I'm not going to get any anything from this, am I? Shift card only does uh, movement, as far as I know. Yeah, movement consume. Yeah, there's no other benefit. Alright, so he's got in his way, that's cool. Um, so I need to move to there at the end of my turn, or I can move there now, but I want to gain two energy, that's great. Leap 20 pile, that's cool. Magba. 
think the luck I have any mag buffs at the moment. Well, I'm gonna definitely do safety off. And now I'm going to try and take out that guy there. I don't need to use opening shot. I want to use these on him first just to drop him and then we'll use opening shot on that guy at the back. But I might put on laser sight just in case there's a, um, a buff that comes on from multiple hits. Okay, we've got one energy left. Okay, so these are my mods here. So I could... No, I can't. It costs two. I could reload. Or I could equip the handgun. Hmm. I think we'll keep the rifle because it does more damage and I might do a reload these guys want to get me they're gonna have to come up closer so I think we're pretty safe he's gonna go over there though isn't he this guy might come over, but we'll have a look. No? Yes, he did. Alright. Okay, now the problem here is that guy will retaliate every time I attack him. He's only going to do one damage. I can do a block, a couple of blocks, and a kick off. Which is going, uh, no, it won't. But I can do 10. Yeah, it's a bit of a pain. I can't, but, you know, I would do that if that guy behind him wasn't there. I'm only going to do one damage. And that's basically a free attack, but it's not going to do, it's only going to do six, because that would be ten. Or I could do that, which would do five, possibly do a little bit of damage to him as well. Block, block, tick off. Eh? Why can't I do that? Can I not do that? What? What's wrong with... Oh, oh I need sand. Okay. Um... What do I want to do then? I think I want to do that, so... Yeah, it's going to cost me energy though. It's only one damage though. Now I might just go for the free, free attack. 
Either that or I just need my team. Okay, now he's out of the way, so I could do it this time. But unfortunately, I don't have that card. Unless we do that, it's going to drop my mag size down. That there would be good, but now that guy's gone out of the way. Um, what do I have in here? Bunt, push. Okay, yeah, that would work. Let's try that then. Okay, so we got the push. Ah, oh, it needs handgun. Okay, wait a minute. So the only way I can get handgun at the moment is this part here. Self defense. Okay, that's cool. You do that. Wait a minute. Yeah. And then Bunton. Okay, and now we can do I would do the prototype, but what I need, I need an energy which we don't have an energy. So again it comes to a problem of no energy mm. it might be a bit of a waste if I leap backwards would that hurt me Give me two shields, but I don't think I need to worry. I think, I think if I do that there, this guy will kill him. So we will add one shift card. Um, do I want to shift? I don't think I need to. Because hopefully that guy will end up there. Hopefully he won't go here, he'll go there. Oh, he's gone here. I was hoping he wouldn't. I can move to three with that. Oh, you come closer though. I'll probably do uh, safety off to quickly. I don't know if I have to. I mean, I can do like five damage times two is ten, so it wouldn't be enough to kill him though. Okay, let's go safety's off. Now we should be able to finish him. One health left. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. I think it reloads at the beginning of every fight, so 
I'm not going to worry about there. Um, enemies always attack on their turn and they also wreck your movement. Try to trick them into beating each other. Yeah, I mean that's quite cool to be if you can do that. So I think they have kind of made some um, good improvements to the game. Definitely pretty good so far, but yeah, we haven't actually got to the boss yet. Let's see. Um, so yeah, I think the how the boss were set up in the previous stages was um, where the biggest problem came to the game. Uh, the boss and the mini boss. Because depending on the build, it just it was like really Unbalanced compared to the character, but we'll find out. Change size up, change size up, change the one. Deal 3 damage, 2 times pain, and 4. And 4, okay. Right, so this is a stronger enemy. I think maybe um, we'll do one row on the map per video, I think. Um, just because it's, yeah, it takes a little while to learn the new mechanics and um, I don't really want to make videos go too long if I can help. This guy here can attack almost anywhere. I don't know why he can't attack there and he can't attack there, but this guy here will target me if I go there. So this looks like the safest place in the room at the moment. Okay, five damage. He's definitely the most dangerous. And if he hits me, I guess that means if he hits me, I'm going to get fragile. I don't want. So let's try and deal with him. Okay, so we've got Shield and backward. Bullet pose. Deal one and three fine. It's like a free attack. But these ones, that gives me a shield and that one gives me a gives target weakness. So. It's a shame that. I can't. Oh, look. Well, that's interesting. Can I do that? No. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, there's nobody there, you know. It would have been a bit 
spamming, you know, like, what am I actually shooting at? Um, I guess the best bet is to do that and put the shield up. It's going to leak backward, which you'd think would be like self damage, but we'll find out. Or maybe it won't let me. Wait a minute, what's going on? Ah, oh, right, yes, you have to target the enemy. Okay. Okay, so I can't jump into the wall like an idiot and bang my head. Okay, that's good. So, now I could draw some cards, but I've got no energy, so I don't think I'm going to. I mean, there are a few free cards, I think. We've got that one, which would gain us some energy, or... Yeah, only that one. So the chance of pulling that card out of all these is probably pretty slim. Yeah, he's a nasty piece of work, eh, that guy? Uh, If I use a move card on him, it's going to stuff me up. Yeah, I can see the difference between a chain attack and one of these multiple attacks. Like the multiple attack will only work in a cross shaped pattern, whereas the chain will actually work if there were say three enemies in a line across from me. Kickoff is the only thing I can really I mean I could do that but I don't know if there's any way to dodge this right here. I've got one shield left. I suppose I could like move there and then try and do a, a bunt. Okay, I was kind of expecting he would attack me but he didn't. So I'm going to try and find Because I wanted to see if, if there would be a, um, a square would open up where I could get a kind of like freedom. It looks like I can go there. If I can get there. It doesn't look like I can. I can do a block. I guess I'm going to have to take one damage here. Maybe you gain a mega bar, gain the one. Block and a shoot. Looks like all I can do. Block. 
Yeah, bit of a shame. If I could have got into that square, it would have been good, but got nothing. If I had leaped forward, I could do it. Mm. Oh well. What do we got? Yeah, a leap would that that would come in handy, but we don't have any leaps now. Yeah, not very good. I could go there, but unfortunately, I'm going to be taking damage. And look, it makes. Grab the other time I get that. Hmm. Yeah, that hmm. He's got me in a bit of a pickle. I could try and get rid of this guy, I think. Uh, shoot. It's funny he doesn't attack his own people, but yeah, I suppose I suppose he doesn't want to, so yeah, <laughs> makes sense. Uh, I think I think that one gives me a um, a defense card. So I might do that. Shoot, shoot, and escape. Uh, oh. You gotta pay for that? Stay frosty. No, you don't. Okay. What does it do? Shield, yeah. Then shield, fine, look for that enemy. Adjacent enemy. Yeah, there's no one near me at the moment. Oh, I've got a block there as well. Okay. So that would be poor shield. Yeah, this guy's doing six damage now. Okay. Hmm. What did I? What? What's happened there? I didn't get something. I didn't get something. What did I get? I didn't get South King. Why didn't I get that? It didn't give me South King. Up. We're going to take four damage now. And if I had an on that, I would have just attacked this guy with three shots. Right, so when I'm fragile, these guys do more damage. So that means this guy's going to. Increase my fragile it means it's going to do more damage to me in the next turn. Unless I use energy and like him out, it'll get like one character off the board. Still got this guy here though. Maybe you leap. Plus me two to do it though.
Hmm. Um. It is my late sport, but now I don't. Yeah. Um, only got two ammo. Reload. going to have to do that. But I'm going to need a reload. So reload now, or reload, yeah, reload now. Yeah, I can do that. Leap forward. And then exfiltrate, hopefully. Oh, chains as well, that's good. If I could get there or there, I wouldn't take any damage. But unfortunately, he would be able to shoot me. Unless I can shoot him with something, but I don't think so. Backstop. What does that give me? Find one week. Self-defense. Backs up the self-defense and um, what was the other one? Stay frosty self Yeah, but it didn't give me a self-defense when I did it before. See, I can move and I won't get hit by him, but I'll get hit by him. I don't really see any other way around it. Put handgun. Unless I want to put handgun. I guess. Yeah, so it gave me self fear. And then extra train. Shift over to there or there. Doesn't really matter which one. I, I mean, there's nothing else I can do about it. And that's not going to help, is it? Not really. I mean, it might give me another two defense, but okay. So we got a free spot there. So 
Yeah, that's pretty cool. What's he on now? Did he get... No, he didn't get healed, eh? No. But he's on five. So I could just finish him off with that. Chamber that would... Um, damage three times, three... Three shot. So I guess I'll do that one. Yeah, so it seems that the Fred goal doesn't change my attack. It only increases the damage that I receive. So I will have to stick to there, but I suppose I should do now. Uh, I've got a leak back there. So we skip over to here. And then... I've got one energy left. Reload. Um, no, we don't need to do anything. I could do a reload, but I don't know. Do I need to worry about that? Mag buffs. I don't think I have any mag buffs. got any movement, I've got a leap backward, that's not going to help at the moment is it? So we're going to have to step, but I want to shoot it in first, so leap backward, 6 damage, gain 2 shield, don't really need shield at the moment, so it's going to be a shoot, or 2 shoots. And if I do one more, it would be bad for me. So we'll do side step, and then don't need a block, but I don't know if there's a turn requirement on this one. I mean, there's nothing I can do anyway. Uh, it's just the way it is. So. I will do on 18. Probably do scavenge. What do we get? Prototype. Prototype sixteen part two weakness five eleven Oh no, the stick's gone out. Doing four damage. Yeah, I'm going to have to take one more hit, aren't I? Gain one energy. That, if that works, it will be a lifesaver. But... Either that or I do the block. I do the block 
he's still there. If I move, he might. Well, I think I think uh, I think we'll try this. Okay, so we got an extra energy, so now we can do the two blocks. Chickened off, eh? He moved quite far too, didn't he? Leap forward. What can I do? I can't get to him. Can I go there? I was hoping maybe with the leap forward it, I could leap there and shoot. No. Can't do it. Equip rifle. Two energy. I need yeah I got nothing let's get the rifle anyway damn it <laughs> to wait another 10 and he still hasn't moved into my site but we're gonna have to Ah, look at that, he's got a, we've got a free spot here. What? Why can't I? Oh, no way, you can only move with the handgun? Oh, okay. And that's gonna cost me one energy. Oh no, and then the step will be one energy. Oh, this is just, yeah. This is really annoying like that. So now we've only got one energy left and I'm using handgun with this shit for damage, so. I can only do 5 damage, 6 damage, gain 2 shield, leap backward. Well, it's like 1 extra damage, but he's up, take 5 damage and push. Okay, oh wait a minute, oh punt, so it doesn't actually fire, it's like just whacking them with the gun. Pistol uh, whip. Um, shoot for that one. It's like one extra damage, but he's still got six left, so I can't even do a, just a normal shot in the next round. He's going to move off again, isn't he? Am 
my ammo is starting to go down. It's not too bad though. Apply one week. You see, this is useless because um, I guess if I don't use it, I lose it. Hey, that put the handgun. Oh no, I did have the handgun. Yeah. So, alright, he's he's still in my line. Luckily for me, otherwise, you know, we probably would have been here for who knows how long. Um, I want to finish him in one shot. Three times two is six. That would do it. We'll do a bit of a leap forward as well. <laughs> okay. So I'm not sure if there was a earn requirement or not. Here we go. Epic EMP. Apply two weeks, two days. To an in line enemy. Jungle style. Mag buffs not removed. The next time you reload. Common airdrop spawn a wooden box and an inline file. Okay, that's quite cool. That might help kind of filter the enemy too. But it has to be an in inline file, unfortunately. I'm going to go with that, it's an epic, you'd expect that it should be good. Patch is a passive upgrade for your hero, after acquiring a patch it provides benefits for the rest of the run. Whenever you defeat an elite or boss, you are order to use patch, you don't know how to patch your towards two. Each time you visit a shop, you can upgrade your patch. Okay. So, what do we want? I guess these are patches up here. Your first attack in a fight deals 4 extra damage. When you win a fight, deal 2. Whenever you play a mod, gain 2 shield. Well, shields don't last long. Hit points would be good. My first attack will do extra damage, that's also quite good, but I think I'm going to go for that one. So we're up to there. So I think I'm just going to... Do we save it? It should already save, shouldn't it? I hope it does. It should already save. Continue. Yeah, so it saved it. Good. So we will uh, stop for now and then um, I'll come back later on and do a, a part two. We'll continue on. Who knows how far we'll get, but um, so far we're doing pretty good, I think. So we'll see you then. Thanks for watching.